At the Roselle Center for Healing, we care about your health and want to help you take your health in a new direction, far from drugs and surgery. Knowledge is the key to optimal wellness and control of your health. We offer free health education on chronic health conditions and natural integrative medicine treatments. Register for free today. Attend high blood pressure and cardiovascular problems on Wednesday, May 15th at 6 p.m. Space is limited, so register today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit rosellecare.com. The information provided on Dr. Tom Rosell Live by Dr. Tom Rosell DC, interview guests, show co-hosts, or substitute hosts is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. It is for general information purposes only. Information from this broadcast should not replace the appropriate consultation and examination process by a licensed physician. Always consult your own physician prior to changing any current medical directive or prescription. Hey, everybody. Welcome. This is Dr. Tom, and I have... Uh an ongoing program for you today. We're talking about your heart, you know, that thing that keeps you going and alive and keeps you present. And if it's not working, you're not here. Well, you need to know a lot about that. And that's where we're going to continue. Remember, on the 15th of May at the Roselle Center for Healing in Fairfax, we're going to be doing a whole evening on high blood pressure. And we'll talk about low blood pressure, too, because it can get too low and cardiovascular disease and what you can do about it, but how to identify it. And we're giving you a lot of the little pieces now, but you'd need to really understand them and put them all together, what they mean. And I want you to have that knowledge because remember what I've said is that it's not okay just to go in and say, yes, doctor, you need to say, doctor, what does this mean? And, you know, is it across the board 100% for everybody? And where's the research that supports what it is that you're telling me? And that's you know, regardless of where you go, even when you come to see me, ask the question, the more sophisticated, knowledgeable questions that you can ask, the better control you have of your health. And that's what this is all about. Remember, health is a do-it-yourself program. And some of us abdicate that information on a regular basis. And we kind of set it aside and let somebody else take over. And that's not okay. And, you know, we're going to talk about some of the, the keynotes in this whole process. And by the way, I want you to remember, if you want to know when we go to live stream and we're doing other types of, you know, a hey, by the way, pay attention type of thing, follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Rumble and YouTube and so forth. And I we promise you we'll send you that. Or alternatively, just go to drtomrosell.com. And there's a whole bunch of information there, and I think that you're going to appreciate it. But it's um, it's there. It's set up for you. We're going to continue to try to expand it. It's important that you have the information. And we're going to get started today a little bit on things that you need to know about, particularly one thing. We're going to talk about triglycerides, these very heavy fats that come from adipose and are supposed to transport to uh, convert into uh, energy pathways. We're going to talk about the things that uh, increase it and what your risk level is. But first, we want to get a little bit more into the diagnostics on cardiovascular disease. And one of my favorite laboratories is the testing that's done through the uh, Cleveland Heart Lab. And because it, it diagnoses pretty specifically the potential uh, for placking, and it shows the inflammatory reactions. Remember, inflammation is acid. And you need to know the beginning steps of what that causes, what happens, how the tissue breaks down, and then, you know, why you end up with a major heart attack or stroke. Uh, they're all part and parcel of the same thing. Patients with heart disease need to really understand how it got there. But more importantly, study after study, if you go to PubMed and Frontier and Townsend Newsletters and um, Medical Economics, they're going to show you that so much of this is reversible. But we're in a, a, a spin right now. We say, well, if we go to the doc and he gives me a statin, or if I take my baby aspirin on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm going to be okay. Let me tell you, you're being delusional. It doesn't work that way. And you end up with taking all these things and you still end up blowing a, uh, a gasket called a heart attack or, you know, a stroke or something of that nature. So we're going to talk a little bit about the progression of what takes place today. And then we're going to 
touch on that thing called triglycerides. And I'm going to continue that into the live stream immediately after the program. And remember, we go from the radio program immediately right into live stream. So get your computer set up right now. Just go to drtomrosell.com or on one of your social media sites, whatever you prefer. Either way, we're going to be there. And just go click, click, and you're there, and we'll continue the conversation. But when you look at anything that begins, you look at the beginning stages of something called inflammatory reaction. And there's other things called myeloperoxidase molecules that increase the thickening of the wall. Uh, there are tests that you can do. Uh, there's one that is sophisticated that most of your docs won't do, and it's called F2-ISOPs. And that tells you about the inflammatory pathways that are being building up. You have uh, OxLDL, and that shows you how the tissue now is transferring, getting thicker. Then you have microalbumin, uh, and what that is, that's also hand in hand with something called high sensitivity CRP, and that's another inflammatory marker. The high sensitivity one is the one that affects your arterial bed. And there are things that make that help, uh, happen. In that stage, what we're seeing from the time that we get these oxidized LDLs, that ox LDL I mentioned a minute ago, that oxidized LDL, you have thickening now of the intimal layers of the arteries around your heart. And so, you know, you have like multiple layers, and there's uh, at least four that we identify all the time. But if that intimal layer begins to thicken, now we have closure and narrowing of the blood vessels, and now your blood's going to have a, a problem. It's going to spin on itself and plaque up if there's some fat in there and so forth. In the next stage there, that intimal thickening now produces the fat. And the fat layer gets on top of it, still underneath uh, the, the wall itself. And then on top of that, what do you get? You get calcium buildup. And that's where you're hardening of the arteries come from, you know, that calcific arterial patterning, that calcific arterial sclerosis. So that's, uh, again, an in-between stage. It can be measured by something called ADMA and microalbumin, as well as the high sensitivity or what we call coronary CRP. So I know these are a lot of words, but on the 15th, I'm going to go over this. I'm going to have pictures for you. We're going to look at it. I'm going to show you exactly what takes place. And I'm going to tell you what you can do about it. There's so many studies. We're going to talk a little bit about that today on the live stream. We're going to talk about reversing so much of this uh, accumulation of garbage that takes place. You know, And it continues. After the calcium buildup, then we go into a state of vulnerable plaquing. What that means is the calcium now is obstructing the canal itself and the flow. And you know we've got all kinds of problems at that point. And the, the arterial bed, the walls are stiff, they're hard, there's no flexibility. Uh, your blood pressure is going to go up because it's going to take more to push it through. And so that's what we notice. Now, is all, uh, uh, are all blood pressure problems a result of this process? The short answer is absolutely not. There's a lot of reasons that takes place. And but what you have to know is that this can be a major, major problem. So then what happens is what? We get into that stage and we don't do anything about it. We're not reversing it. It continues to accumulate. Then we get a rupture in the inside of the arterial wall. And now we have all of this garbage, this vulnerable plaque that's inside the arterial wall now goes into the arterial bed. Now, think about it for a second. So you have all this stuff now is leaking into our, to your bed and whatever fat you have accumulating in there, now they're going to start sticking to it, right? And pretty soon you get a blood clot and that blood clot does what? It obstructs the rest of the flow to the heart, to the brain, and it's called a heart attack or a stroke. Now, when we understand these, what we call ACS, <laughs> big big word for acute coronary syndrome, which is also called a heart attack. Uh, we have to understand that there was a whole process that we ignored up until that point. And it began to move forward very rapidly over a period of time. 
causing these things to begin to occur. So we want to make sure that we know that inflammation causes these things to occur, that the heavy fats now begin to stick to the arterial bed to put the fire out, so to speak, metaphorically, so you don't burn through as a rupture these things. And But as they do, and this plaque begins to increase, you begin to narrow the blood flow. And once that blood flow begins to narrow, then the clot begins to form, and then what happens? And, you know, you got that acute coronary syndrome called a heart attack or a stroke, and now you're in trouble. So we're going to take that through on the 15th. Join us. But more importantly, we're really going to go through and prove to you that this is reversible. Remember we talked about inflammatory reactions being caused by numerous things, you know, stress levels that just don't go away. Uh, you internalize. You don't have the tools, if you will, to break that up. Your diet is horrible. It sucks. You know, you you got the great American diet. Uh, and you're eating everything that you shouldn't eat. We're going to talk about that reversal as well. And But more importantly, if you're living in pain of any kind, particularly pain that affects the nerves that go to any of the arterial beds and the uh, areas of, of uh, fat formation and metabolism, you're going to have a problem. And we want to make sure that you understand that you better catch it before it's too late. So let's get into one of the the small subcomponents of the fats that build up in your system. And you know, you go and you get generally if you go to your your physician, he's going to do what or she's going to do what? They're going to test total cholesterol. They're going to uh, do the bad guys supposedly the LDLs. They're going to do the good guys the HDLs, and they're going to do this thing called triglycerides. Now, we've covered that, and we're going to talk about them more and more, but here's the thing with triglycerides. Triglycerides are good guys, and they get to be bad guys sometimes. Triglycerides are an important measure of our overall body health because there's a triggering mechanism outside the heart, and that's the kind of the stuff that you put in your mouth uh, called sugar, you know, like way too much of it. Uh, and alcohol and certain types of fats and nuts and so forth. So if you've been keeping an eye on, you know, your blood pressure and your cholesterol levels, there's other things that you need. And that's if you do all of them, right? You, your apple lipoprotein, big A and small A. And then you got, uh, we sometimes call them metaphorically, the big fat fluffy ones that don't hurt you, even though that's your total LDLs are high. But your doctor doesn't tell you about that, does he? Well, I will on the 15th. So make sure you join me. Uh, triglycerides are a fat, period. Okay, let's start with that. And when you eat anything, your body converts you know, uh, into calories and uh, it stores them away for, for the use. They store them in tri triglycerides. They're stored in your fat cells. Okay, so guess what? So the more fat cells you have inside your body, and by the way, you can be a skinny fat person. What does that mean? That means on the outside, it's not the belly fat we're worried about. It's that stuff inside of you that accumulates and you can't get rid of it. You know, so belly fat, eh, you know, you're just not working out the way you're supposed to. But these, what happens is triglycerides are stored, as I said, in those fat cells, but the hormones, uh, they release triglyceride energy for you to sustain yourself in between your meals. So if it's not doing it, if you don't have a good balance, remember I said hormones, uh, then these triglycerides, these fats, can't be broken down into energy molecules that sustain you. So you're always craving stuff, and generally what you're going to crave is sugars, and then you acquiesce, right? And you get it. Now, a normal triglyceride range, we'll just get that out of the, of the way just for right now. And then again, we're going to talk about that more in depth coming up on the 15th. A normal triglyceride relative to the medical laboratories is anything under 150 milligrams uh, per diluted liter. Now, is that normal? Well, in my world of functional medicine, I like to see you under 100, but above 50. And then you're really in pretty good shape. Your body's working the way it's supposed to and so forth. So when your doc checks for these triglycerides and they're sitting there at you know, 145 and say, oh, you're doing a good job. Well, maybe, 
Uh, maybe not. Like I said, in the functional medicine world, we want them a little lower. Triglycerides and cholesterols are different types of fats. So understand that. There are different types of fat that go into your system. So one is not the other. Triglycerides, uh, they're used to, uh, they're unused calories. Let's put it that way. They're unused calories. So they're, you know, the stuff that your body doesn't use, they shove it in there. So you have to go into deficit spending to get rid of this stuff. It means that you can't, you have to put in less of other types of fast acting fats and, you know, to burn these guys out. Now, high triglycerides can contribute to the arteries getting really stiff and hard. We just talked about that a minute ago. It increases your risk, as we said, of heart attack and heart disease and strokes and even something called acute inflammation of the pancreas. Did I say that? Yep, I said that. Acute inflammation of the pancreas. So the pancreas doesn't work the way it's supposed to. And we've seen that with patients repeatedly over the years. Now, high triglycerides are often the sign of other types of conditions. And what we're talking about is metabolic syndrome. And these, you know, there's a cluster of conditions that includes too much fat around your waist and your blood pressure goes up. And we look at your triglycerides, your blood sugars aren't stable and abnormal cholesterols. Now, high, triglycerides can be the sign of uh, a predisposition, a prodromal, if you will, to type 2 diabetes, or you might be in the type 2 diabetic state and that your triglyceride level is going to go up. It can cause low levels of thyroid hormone as well. Interesting, right? So if you're storing all these triglycerides where they can't be metabolically used, your thyroid is going to get turned down and not work the way it's supposed to. Then we get into all these people coming in, this, you know, the skinny fat person. Often that can be a finger pointer that says, yeah, we got a problem in that area. So we have to be able to pick it apart. And it's important that you understand it. And by the way, this information is rapidly available all over the place. And you need to understand that there are things that cause it. Now, high triglycerides sometimes are a side effect of taking certain medications. And if you're on estrogens and progesterones, it could be a problem because they're not in balance. Uh, retinoids, steroids, beta blockers, but particularly immune suppressant drugs. And the other piece for blood pressure is diuretics. So if you're on a diuretic, it can raise your triglyceride. You know, your doc is trying to keep your blood pressure under control, but at the same time, there's a rebound effect causing your blood pressure to go the wrong way. Interesting. And it's going the wrong way. See, it's rebound. It's dropping the blood pressure. Okay, that's what I was saying. Now, what happens is that because it's pulling out water and pulling out other nutrients and so forth, now it rebounds to protect you and increases these triglycerides. Kind of crazy, right? So then you go do other things to try to bring it down when there's things you can do to reverse the whole thing. Now, exercise is one, and we're going to talk about you got to stay away. From, you got to stay away from these refined carbohydrates and sugars. You guys are all junk food junkies when it comes to white flour and sugars and you know, things that are loaded with fructose and eating, you know, the uh, the fats that come from corn and increase. And then take a look at your weight. You know, I was looking at a picture the other day, a bunch of kids, my generation on the beach in the late 60s, 68 to 70 in that area. And man, they look great. There was nobody fat. Why? Why today? Why do we see all this extra poundage around us? One, we're eating garbage. Two, we don't get any exercise. Three, we're stressed out like crazy. All of these things cause our body to store these things. The amount of exercise, except for athletes and people who really care, you know, is very low today. You know, the, the only exercise we get is grab the remote control and we push the button and we get mad when it's not working. We want to throw it at somebody instead of getting off our butt like we used to when we only had three channels and, you know, we would turn it you know, manually and we got out. We went to do things. We went for a walk. You know, the other day I was going to visit my goddaughter and I was watching these four people, three children and a father. And they're walking down the street. Beautiful day, right? It was gorgeous. And 
they're all walking. It's a beautiful, beautiful evening out. And every one of them had their cell phones in their hands. And they were walking slowly so they could read their cell phones instead of engaging with each other and walking rapidly and being playful and dropping the stress level and so forth. I don't know about you, but you know, I think we've gone astray somehow and we wonder why we have all these chronic diseases and we buy into the hyperbole of all the nonsense of these talking heads. I got a real problem. If you get me privately, I'll probably say things I wouldn't say on the, the radio, but here's the deal. Statins can cause problems and you have to understand there's a loop that's there. So we have to make sure that we use the things that are available to us. Niacin works, niacinamide works, uh, fish oils, make sure you get it from the right you know, uh, areas of the world. All these things can make a major difference. But guess what? Number one, diet and exercise. On a live stream today, I'm going to talk about some of the, the uh, uh, specific exercise patterns that if you incorporate in your life and change a few things, you're going to see all kinds of changes in your health. Are there things that can be supportive naturally? Yes. If you're living in pain, you got to get out of pain. And I don't mean by taking a drug. And we're going to talk about that on the 15th as well. If you're constantly in a state of stress and you're cranking up those inflammatory reactions, you got a problem. We have to make sure that you understand that you have control and not abdicate the control process. That's the thing that I worry about for all of us. We're being told a story, and that story doesn't make sense. And most of your physicians, God, God love them. You know, they they believe the the hype as you do as well. <laughs> My friends, we got to be careful, right? We have to make sure that we understand the process. And you're the one that has control. Your health is in your hands. That's why the moniker of the live stream, Ageless Health. It is an ageless process, both in a positive realm, but also ongoingly. Listen, my friends, I'm here to give you as much data and information as I possibly can so you can ask the right questions. And we're always available at the Results Center to give you more data, to help you along the path, to do what we can to make a difference, to, to help you and your physicians get you off the medications instead of putting you on them continually. We're coming up to that place in the program where we're going to go immediately to live stream. I want you to join me. Go to drtomrosell.com or check me on one of your social media sites and don't forget to follow me. Remember, I'm here every Sunday for one reason, one reason only. The information is there to save you. It's my job to get it to you. But more importantly, I love you all. You have a wonderful Sunday. Join me right now on live stream and make sure you follow me on all social media sites. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. Breast cancer is a major health risk to all women. It can silently grow uninterrupted for years. The Thermography Centers of Fairfax reminds all women to conduct monthly and annual breast exams. Consider a thermography scan from the Thermography Centers as an adjunct to your routine breast exams. Digital infrared thermal imaging is safe and non-invasive. For more information and to schedule an appointment, call 703-520-7591 or visit thermographycenters.com. Neuromuscular dentistry is more than just teeth and gums. Temporomandibular joint disorder is a very painful disorder, which only a skilled neuromuscular dentist can diagnose and treat. If you're in pain and suffering from TMJ, call the neuromuscular dentistry experts at Soft Touch Dental Care. Learn more about TMJ and how Dr. Michael Chung DDS has successfully treated patients. Visit softtouchdentalcare.com or call 703-319-6990. At the Roselle Center for Healing, we care about your health and want to help you take your health in a new direction, far from drugs and surgery. Knowledge is the key to optimal wellness and control of your health. We offer free health education on chronic health conditions and natural integrative medicine treatments. Register for free today. Attend high blood pressure and cardiovascular problems on Wednesday, May 15th at 6 p.m. Space is limited, so register today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit rosellecare.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, 
After 43 years of practice and over a million patient visits, the Rizelle Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellecare.com. That's rosellecare.com. Are you dental phobic? Do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety? A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. Offering state-of-the-art technology, Dr. Chung can give you the smile of your dreams. Arrange for a complimentary consultation today with Dr. Michael Chung and experience the expertise that makes Dr. Michael Chung so unique. Call 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Or visit bestinsmile.com. That's bestinsmile.com. 